Michael Rutter and John McGuinness have an amazing 54 years of TT racing experience between them. Given that they both turned 50 this year, we wondered if they shouldn't be doing something a little bit more age appropriate. Race fans, welcome to North Ramsey Bowling Club for the inaugural Isle of Man TT Seniors Crown Green Bowling Championship. I'm having a tenner on it. You haven't got a tenner? Well, All what right. about this 50 in my pocket? All right, give us a look at it first. Have you got 50? Yeah. Let's have a look. Where's your 50? Let's have a look. Oh, you got 50? <laughs> I'll put the How old that? How old that? <laughs> We're having a 50 on it. Well, welcome John and Michael to North Ramsey Bowling Club. Beautiful day today for it. Uh, to get to know all about Crown Green Bowling, and um, it's quite an art, as you'll find out. There's a lot of skill involved, um, and it's all about the three L's, land, length and line. The, the aim of the game is to get near this jack. The leader, whoever wins the toss to start this game off, uh, will send the jack and their first ball. It's a minimum of 19 metres, so you know you can't just send it a few yards and, and uh, that. You've got to get 19 metres. We're having a seven-up game, I believe, so uh, may the best man win. Have we got a coin? Okay. Have we got a coin? No, oh, no. I haven't got any coins. I'll give you my last 50 quid. Oh, right, no, I've got a coin. Got I've a got a coin. coin, I've got a coin. Okay. Michael's got everything. Bowling. He's got the looks, the length, <laughs> the coins. A 20 pence piece. I might call in. Right. Go on, you call. Heads. Tails. Tails. Right. <laughs> I'll go. Great I'll start. Go. Okay. <laughs> we got that. That's good. Well done. Whoa. Oh! In terms of the year you were born and the production bike of the era, Peter Hickman is an RC30, Glenn Irwin is a jelly mould CVR600, Davy Todd is a one year old urban tiger blade, Michael Rutter and John McGuinness are a Honda CB750. How does that make you feel? What do you reckon, John? I want listening. Um, basically, it makes me feel happy that I was around in those times where there were proper racers. Yes. That's right, isn't it, John? Yes. That makes me feel like an hard man because they were proper blokes who rode them CB750s, yeah. <laughs> That's right, sir. What was your earliest memory of John Stroke Michael? Oh, right. Basically, my first memory is him when he had a factory shell bike when he was racing in super teams against me on my. Uh, Standard RGV. Right. Yeah. That's rubbish, by the way. Is it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> come on. No. Come on, what, what, what we were both mean? super teenies. We were both 18 years old doing a championship wow. called the Super Teen Championship. I was on a Kawasaki K1S, he was on an RGV, right. and he had the better bike and the more famous dad. <laughs> so we got everything gifted. Right. I had to, have, I had to work out. I was laying, bri I were laying bricks and oh, Prentice and everything. You. He's never laid a brick in his life. I have, I was a good brick it. Not straight, straight. <laughs> Hey, Lancashire lass, you say you've no chance, forget it. You ask him to build your wall at home then. I'm, I was good bricky, yeah. honestly I was. Honestly, I wore a good bricky. I wore a good bricky. How do you want to be remembered? Honest, good looking, charismatic, <laughs> funny. Uh, that sounds good. <laughs> just like to be remembered. I think I think I think I can answer that for John. I think John could be remembered for he was he loved the sport, he did he did TT and he knows everything about it. Every bump, every it's a bit like Stevie Slop knows everything about it. every rider, everything like yeah. that. Yeah. But he's that boring. He has to do that. You <laughs> think. Yes. But um, yeah. yeah, that's what I'd say about John. What, what about yourself, Michael? I'd like to remember just for as well part of my dad doing going, coming racing, coming to the Isle of Man, enjoying it when there's a kid, and then me racing and and being lucky to race against people like John, yeah. by, like um, Joey Dunlop and, yeah. you know, That's and, and yeah, and yeah. Uh, I think basically just riding all different bikes. Yeah. Uh, I think I've tried to ride every kind of manufacturer and uh, yeah. out there, yeah. so yeah. You've done some stuff, cool. Michael, I'll give you that. You've done some stuff. So, you getting into anything? 
Am I getting anything new? Yeah. Like John's into his uh, chickens. Chickens. His, his, his it's rabbits. that way. Yeah, you're going to. Right. Um, yeah, I've been uh, just being professional uh, drinker now. I am. That's all I'm doing. That's uh, that's all I can do. I've got, I do. I've got. Um, I've got a lot of. Uh, I do actually like my wildlife and everything. I built some owl houses and yeah, some things nice. like that. So in lockdown, out of old uh, yeah. crates and that. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll have to send you a picture. Or you could get into camping. Oh well, I'm. Maybe. I like it. Do what? Yeah, I actually, cool. if I was, can yeah. you drink as well? Have yeah. a pint. Yeah. 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 He's got he's, me. He's, oh, oh lucky wow. sort. How that, that was so lucky. Despite having a combined age of over 100 years, we've both successfully waved the flag in the TT0 race. Aside from when there was a £10,000 bounty put on the first 100 mile an hour lap, at what point did you start taking that race seriously? Have I got a two? We Come took it. We We've got a two. John, well done. Mm. Feels good, it's not going to lie. <laughs> I took it seriously right from the word go, that electric bad thing. Yeah, he did big... actually take the mickey out of me first. When I first I got on one, you wound me up, and the next year he was in his nice white leathers and everything. I did. Just posing around. Because he, he was doing the winning, and I was like... <laughs> I, I want like, to be this. I got offered a, 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 a chance to ride the Mugen, which was the most amazing electric bike on the planet, and still is the most electric, uh, amazing bike on the planet. So to be able to ride it, yeah. He did, right, from, right from the word go, I started at the beginning of it, the project right to the end of it and to be fair Michael beat me in the last race and I did ride as hard as I could right. and he still beat me by eight seconds so I respect That's him for that one. Amazing. We have only we've had our, our one and only argument over an electric bike race. Right. Yeah. Oh, what yeah. was that? Basically me winning that race oh. you know. He won it I got a drop on. He did. Oh. Wrongly so I did hold my hand up but yeah. It took him took him six months and about two bottles of I made the apology on the plane on and a plane on a 747 over going, Japan. Yeah. Right, I'll take Short one this over. time. Short no, I'm I'll give long. you a long one last time. Bollock. I'm having it. Oh, he's good. It's a shorter film for you. Right, where are we? Michael shared a World Superbike podium with Carl Fogarty in his pomp at Brands in 97. John shared a podium at that TT that year with Joey in the lightweight race. I know John was a ginormous fan of Joey's. Have I, either of you met a racer that has idolised you and how do you deal with it? Wow. Idolise you. They probably wouldn't say it, but maybe they have. Yeah. It's a real, really weird, it's a weird thing to say because yeah. I don't sound big headed, but I mean, we've yeah. both done a little bit and yeah. World Superbike levels, Grand Prix. You wouldn't think yeah. it, would you? But You yeah. probably wouldn't think it, but yeah, yeah. There's, there's probably people who have gone low, you know. Yeah. And, uh, and it's, it's lovely though to be idolised, you know, to, to be at the top of your sport. Oh, at the end of the day, we have, we have, been, hard work's we have been lucky. We have, you know. you know, you have the right bikes, the right, yes. and there's been a lot of good riders, I'd say. <laughs> Better than me, anyway, and 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 they just haven't had the chance. But mm. yeah. not know, a bit of luck. We, 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 you need a lot of luck in this game. It's and, a bit uh, the same, I suppose, at all sport, yeah. isn't it? Really. Mm. Not yeah. a lot of luck in this one. This is skill, this by is the way. Skill. I'm leading. Yeah, yeah exactly. So uh, well, point. I'm going for it now. I'm going for another <coughs> short one. No, I go for a short one. I did. I really Honestly, did. Thank, no, you, thank, thank you. Thank, thank you very much. much. Michael's a winner. Well done. The only thing he's got to win this year. <laughs> <laughs>